Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at upgrading our GIMP version from 2.10.14 to 2.10.18. So if I go over to the GIMP website here, you'll see that they've announced that the 2.10.18 version has been released here. And it looks like we skipped the 2.10.16 because they had a critical bug in it, so they didn't even announce it. And if you scroll down on this page, you can see some details about what is changing. So some of the tool layouts are changing here and the slider style is put into a more compact form. So that's great. And since we're on an Ubuntu computer here, I'm on version 18.04, as you can see, I'm going to follow the instructions for doing that using the default package manager that ships with Ubuntu. So that's our apt kit here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to remove the current GIMP I have here. So I'm gonna sudo apt git remove it. And let me just open up a terminal here. I'm gonna bump this up so we can see it. And let's apt get remove GIMP. Put in a password. Say yes. Okay. And then we can come back over here and let's add the repository for the newer versions of GIMP. So we're just going to run this command, the add apt repository, and we're gonna use this PPA, this auto PPA. So I'm gonna press enter. And then we'll press enter. Now we just have to make sure to do a sudo apt git update, and that updates our package manager so we get the newest packages now that we've added that repository. And now let's just install GIMP, so let's do sudo apt git install gimp and we'll say yes okay now that that's installed i'm going to switch over to gimp again and i'm just going to close out of the application here then i'm going to come up to my search here i'll click on this and i'll search for gimp and i'll click that And now I'll come to my help here and choose the about. It's still referencing the old version of GIMP. So what that says to me is this PPA does not have the newest version of GIMP available on it yet. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna to go to my software center. So I'm gonna click here and I'm going to type in software center here. And I'm gonna open this up. And let me just search for GIMP here. So this is the version we have installed. So if I click into this, you can see here we have this PPA that we installed from. And you can see that it's the PPA that we actually added previously. So I'm actually going to remove this program here. I'm gonna remove. Okay, now that that's removed, let's go back and this other version of GIMP we have here, if we click into this, you can see that this has the stable 2.10.18 version. So let's actually go ahead and install this version. Okay, and let's launch this. Okay, so this is our new version here. So if I come up to help and I go to about, you'll see that we're on 2.10.18 now. A couple things you notice is tools are bundled here now. So if you right click on them, you can actually see multiple tools under each one of these. Any of the ones that are denoted with this little right arrow at least. And the style down here is actually a little bit different as well. Now, there's a couple of things I want to change kind of right off the bat. The first thing is we lost our old icon set here. So if we were to go to edit preferences and we were to go to interface icon theme, you notice that there are some new default icon themes in here, 
but we lost our previous one that we had installed. So let's look at getting those back. So if under here at the bottom on the left-hand side, there's this folder section. If you were to go down here and click on icon themes, you can see where they want to put the icon themes. This is now using a snap. The way we installed this is now using snap. So we can actually open this folder. Let's just open this in our file manager here. We can go about installing this a different way. Let's go back to the GIMP website here and let's click on downloads. And now it knows that we're on Ubuntu, which is nice. And it says that the way to go and download this is actually to use Flatpak. Now we don't actually have Flatpak installed on our computer. So let's click this link here to ensure that Flatpak is installed. That opens us up on the flatpak.org website. And then let's do the quick setup. And I'm going to click Ubuntu since that's our computer here. And then it gives us some instructions to actually install Flatpak. Since we're using Ubuntu 18.04 and not 18.10, so we're a little bit older here, let's come and let's grab this PPA for Flatpak here. Let's copy that. Let's go back to our terminal and let's paste that in and run that. Press enter. Okay. Let's go back here and then make sure we have our package manager updated and then let's do it install. So let's first come here and sudo apt get update. And then let's install Flatpak. And now that Flatpak's installed, we should be able to go back to this link on the downloads page and we should be able to just click the install GIMP Flatpak. So let's click that link. It's going to open with the software center here. So let's click OK. It's going to open up our software center. Now it doesn't know how to handle that file. So let's go back here to the documentation. So we can click on that link or we can actually run our Flatpak command directly. Let's try running it with the Flatpak install and then we'll use this link here as a reference. So let's go to our command line and try running that. Okay, we'll say yes. We'll say yes to install. We'll say yes. Okay, so it says the installation is complete here. Let's come up to a launcher and look for GIMP. So we have our program, our existing program here. So let's try to actually run this run command from Flatpak to see if we can get this started. We might actually have to restart our computer in order to get this to work. So it, it started this over here. So it says 2.10.14 still. Let's get out of this and let's close out of the program completely. Let's run this one more time. Okay, so now this is getting the newer version. You can tell here because we have some of these icons actually collapse. So if we wanted to see some more tools revealed within here, we could right click and you could see that these tools are kind of bundled together. So right click and you can see similar tools being bundled together there. If we go to help, we go to about, you'll see that we're now on 2.10.18. There's a couple of things that I wanna do right off the bat. So we're using these new icons here. So if I came up to my edit preferences and we go to the icon theme, we have a few new icons in the default icon theme settings here. That's great. But we lost our custom icons that we had created previously. So if I come to folders here, I scroll down and I went to icon themes, you can see we have something in our home directory here, this dot var folder here. So if I were to select that and press show the file in the file manager. 
I get this error. This is likely because this location might not actually exist on my computers. So let's switch over here. So when I search for GIMP up here, I'm still getting the older version of GIMP. And this launches that older version here. So what I want to do is I actually want to uninstall that other version. So we can do a sudo apt get auto remove of GIMP in the GIMP plugin registry. So let's remove those real quick. So now if I search GIMP, it doesn't show up anymore. So we're going to have to get this to show up without having to run the flat pack run command. So this gets it to launch. Hmm, that startup is really slow too. Now I'm not sure if that's a flat pack thing or if that's a GIMP 21018 thing. But for now, since the GIMP startup is pretty slow with flat pack, I and I think some of the icon things need to be worked out. It's not respecting my operating system icons. It's kind of similar to how the snap worked. Uh, I think for now I'm gonna go back to the app git repository install of GIMP and I'm going to remove this. So let's go through actually removing this stuff. So how do we go about removing it? We can do flat pack list and we can flat pack on install org.gimp.gimp Uninstall it. Okay, so we've uninstalled that. So if we were to list Flatpak programs. Now let's remove Flatpak completely too. So let's sudo apt remove auto remove Flatpak here to completely remove Flatpak from our system. Flat pack. Okay, cool. So we're back to square one. Let's go back and let's sudo apt get install GIMP one last time. So this is going to get the older version of GIMP since our PPA does not have reference to the newer version. But we get to keep our icons and it gets to respect the system icons, which is my biggest gripe with the flat pack and the snap versions. And search GIMP, here it is. The startup is a little bit faster too. And I know you can configure the new version of GIMP to unpack these, but I like them unpacked by default. So until either it works in Flatpak or in Snap to respect the system icons here on the, the left-hand side, and the startup gets a little faster, I probably won't be using those installation processes. Now, I think we could have got to the point where we added our own icons back to the system, and I think we could have got it set up so they're unpacked like this, and that wouldn't have been a huge hurdle. But really having the startup time and then also just the th respecting the theme of the computer, that's, that's kind of a big step for me. And I don't think I'll be using those until those things are sorted out a little bit. So for now, this is where we're at. Back to square one. We're using the old version of GIMP. And this is where things are for now. Okay. Thanks for watching.